We have made it to the Grand Canyon. We're thinking about going out and testing our balance. So there's your warning, guys. Luckily, here it is, November 2nd. It's a little cool, so it's not too hot, but definitely you can get sick. But just take a look at that down there. Yeah, that's down there's where we're going. We've been kind of watching YouTube videos and we've gone on to the National Geographic, um, uh, uh, I want to say Netflix the and Netflix and watching this stuff. And we're just like, ah, we're just, oh, we're just super, super excited. And we're finally here. We're finally here. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're thinking about going out and testing our balance. Our balance. On the rim? On the rim? I don't know. I thought maybe we would first try this out. What do you think? How about if we test our balance out on the bikes? The bikes. Oh boy, we're gonna have a lot of fun today here and <laughs> wish us luck. Go for a bike ride. Don't turn off the light. I'm Here we are, part of the way out the trail on the bikes. No accidents yet, <laughs> but uh, hey, yeah, we're doing a good time. There's the Grand Canyon behind us. Woohoo! All right. Beautiful, right. beautiful day. Let's go. What I found was nowhere near as nice, no matter the Awesome. I don't know how it can get any better than this. <laughs> We're here at the bike rental place and um, just to kind of give you guys a little info about it, up here at the Grand Canyon, um, you can rent bikes. You can rent them for two hours, which is $25. And that includes a helmet. A helmet? A helmet. <laughs> you know, and these safety really first. awesome. Safety first. <laughs> and these are really awesome bikes. Um, they're actually, um, I think like a five speed bike, but the brakes are both front and back. So like you can't have any accidents. Anyway, so $25 for two hours. Uh, it's $31.50 for half a day. And then it was um, 42, 42 $42.50. 50 something like that for a full day. But it's awesome. And the trails that they have around here for you to ride on are all asphalt and they keep the bikes up. I, it was a blast. We highly recommend this this uh, renting the renting the bikes, riding the trails along the, the rim there, or not on the rim trail. There's other trails that that they do allow the bikes on, and you just cover so much ground, and it's just great. And it, there's like a two-hour trail you can go on that one, or there's another one that's I don't know a seven-hour. It's a seven-hour yeah. trail, but the cool thing is is that you can even put your bikes on the bus. So. There are buses running, um, you just want to check because in the time of COVID and stuff not, and whatnot, they have, you know, restricted some buses, but... Um, but there's some, some tricks that you can do is, is ride the bus up the hill and then take the bikes <laughs> down the hill. <laughs> yeah, but along the way, um, we stopped and uh, we got just some incredible shots. Um, we would uh, be on the bike path and once you get up a ways, the bike path does go along the rim. Mm -hmm. And we're taking all of these other shots and also doing some video recording of a lot of the um, canyon there. And again, man. We this, even saw a couple elk along the way. Yeah. <laughs> it just seems that <laughs> elk's a common theme here. But um, yeah, anyway, and, and when we first started off, we actually took a wrong turn. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's all good. Uh, it's all good. Uh, it was a good ride. Um, we actually got back plenty of time to go turn our bikes in. So if you come to the Grand Canyon, 
rent a bike and see as much as you can see. It's it's just so awesome. And for us, we just did a two hour uh, rental. And so now we're gonna uh, drive around the other parts of the park and see other sites. Do some hiking maybe. Who knows? Maybe, maybe we just might get on a mule. What? What? I don't know about that. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys soon. Be free with me. Well, today we're up at Hermit's Rest and we took a bus shuttle down from what's called the village all the way up here. But first off, this morning, Laura had this great idea. What was that great idea, Laura? Let's go see the sunrise. Yeah. So we went up to Mathers Point and uh, there was some great uh, vantage points up there and uh, took some great shots of the sunrise. Yeah, there's a few pictures, there we yes. go. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Getting up at old dark early almost. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, we got on the bus ride. It's kind of nice um, because it made like what eight or nine stops. It did, yeah. And you know, if you don't want to hoof it, um, which you could, you could take the rim trail all oh, the way, all the way where we're at, we're at now is at Hermit's Rest. But we're like we've, seven uh, miles. Yeah. We took the bus and then got off at each stop, and it, it's amazing how each stop has a unique view and it, it from a different angle it just has different views and it's just no matter which way you go it's all beautiful now yesterday of course we did a bike ride and that was on the you know east side of the village and i think we talked about the other bike ride which actually would take you all the way up to where we're at today so you have an option. You could you could take a, a, a bike ride. So we're standing at Hermit's Rest, and we actually are above a bell. And uh, the driver tells us that if you stand under the bell, it will bring you good luck. But he also said that if you're going to go to Las Vegas and do some gambling, you better stand underneath that bell for a very long time and take lots of pictures. So. <laughs> Anyway, that's a little history about the uh, Hermit's Bell. Good luck. Day three at the Grand Canyon. And today we're out, not as early, but it's a little bit after 8.30, I think it is. Uh, anyway, um, today I've decided to take the Bright Angle Trailhead, which is a trail that goes all the way to the bottom. Now, as you can see here behind me, we've actually got a pack of of mules and guided tours going down that trail also so I'll be experiencing them we have to give them the right of way but it's seven miles down to the bottom but I'm not gonna go down to the bottom uh, the first rest stop is about a mile and a half down we have about a 5,000 foot drop clear to the bottom so I'm not gonna like overdo it and today Laura is gonna go out to the Hopi overlook and walk the rim trail Good morning, everyone. I thought I'd take a quick moment here as I found a very nice spot to uh, just tell you about my adventures here on Rim Trail at the Grand Canyon. I'm walking the, the Rim Trail as Tony's going down to Bright Angel and uh, Trailhead, uh, which is a very strenuous uh, hike that I didn't feel I was comfortable or ready to go on yet. But anyway, this is just a beautiful walk along the rim and we'll share our adventures when we get back and share notes. And, um, you know, I'm going to be safe. Uh, we're taking, not only that we have cell phones, but we may not have cell phone coverage, but we've also got two-way radios. So if anything at all was to happen, we're just being safe. Uh, she'll be at the top. I'll be walking down the trail. I have a two-way radio. So, here we go. All right, so there's your warning, guys. Luckily, here it is, November 2nd. It's a little cool, so it's not too hot, but definitely you can get sick. But just take a look at that down there. Yep, that's down there's where we're going. Here's where we come from. This is awesome. I am so excited about doing this. Got some switchbacks coming up here pretty quick. All right, let's keep going. All right, 15 minutes into the downhill. 
The uh, mules are starting to come down. Beautiful morning, just gorgeous morning. Okay, I think the cool thing about this is just going down in time. Uh, if we look at the age of everything and how they indicate how old it is. But I think it's really, really cool to see the different layers uh, from where we were at the top as we're coming down. And this area in here, obviously is just, you know, like solid rock. And then it just changes and pretty soon we're gonna be getting down into the area where it's uh, just a lot more red. So, hey, let's keep going. 30 minutes into the hike down and this is about where we are. I think that it's just incredible what they did to make this this trail down here. It's just uh, absolutely awesome. Obviously it's downhill, so hey, it's not too bad now, but we'll see how I feel at this point when we're coming back up. So here's the trail going ahead and I look straight across and see nothing but solid rock straight down. And then I look down and go, oh my gosh, we got quite of a descent to, to go. All right, when they built the trail, I guess they had no option but to go ahead and, I'll say, chisel out this hole in this rock to make the trail go through. Pretty cool. Stopping here to take a break. Uh, we've actually got the, uh, the mules coming down that uh, didn't think they'd catch up with me, but uh, they did. Good morning, sir. Looks like fun. Yeah. <laughs> so I think this is really awesome how the color of the soil is changing. So we have a very light brown soil here and as we transition into this next layer another age in time millions and millions of years ago and it's a different sediment and it's red and we're going to go down i don't know i'm thinking maybe there's 50 feet of this and then it changes again this was really incredible 45 minutes into my descent and quite honestly I thought it'd be further down from the rim by now. Here's kind of a shot of what that looks like. So I really thought that I would be down further. So we'll see uh, where I get in the next 45 minutes. So one of the things that I can tell you, if you plan on doing this Bright Angel Trailhead, a couple things to think about when you're coming down here. Um, and if you read a lot about it, you'll, you'll hear also or, or see what they say, but got my backpack with me, got at least two containers of water, which I'm only planning on just coming down half the way. And the, uh, right now it's November 2nd. So as you can see, and I'll show you the uh, sunlight. So the sunlight's up over here and we're pretty well shaded. So being shaded obviously is going to help on the walk back up since the sun is sitting down, you know, so far, you know, to the south. But um, anyway, the, deal, the, the trail is dusty. Uh, be prepared for that, especially after the mules go by. They really kick up uh, quite a bit of dust. So, uh, you know, luckily um, we've got our mask here <laughs> and uh, so anytime that we pass people, of course, and when the mules go by, it's handy to have that mask on just because they kick up so much dust. Um, you know, other than that, I think it's just gonna be taking it slow and easy. Um, again, I'd like to get to the mile and a half rest stop today. And, uh, you know, 45 minutes into it, and I don't know, it's just the switchbacks, and I'm thinking that I was gonna be dropping a lot faster but anyway, pretty cool trail. This is awesome. I did already peel off my lightweight jacket and I was very cognizant about how much I carry. So I've got some fruit bars, some snack bars, some fruit cups and some water just to keep the load as light as possible. So I'm at an hour, made it to the mile and a half rest house 
and let's go up let's, let's take a look at what this is it's amazing how long ago this was built and how much of it's preserved of course it is all rock but anyway cool little shelter here we go guys that's where I started here's where I'm at I'm not gonna make it to the three mile wrist <clears throat> at all but hey my goal was is to get down to this this is really awesome definitely if you're here in adverse weather it would be you know advisable to take shelter here all right well I'm gonna go over and take a potty break I am about an hour and 15 minutes down into my hike and uh, very very fortunate that recently saw some petroglyphs and uh, Here's a picture of them. It happened to be that uh, a guide that was coming back up with a few people stopped at that one point. And as a, how ironic is that, that I was able to see potentially these uh, petroglyphs. So anyway, um, some more stuff to look forward to when you're going down the uh, Bright Angel uh, Trail. All right, I am one and a half hours into my hike down the Bright Angel trail here and came to a switchback. This is gonna be my stopping point. I'm gonna stop, get some energy, and <clears throat> start heading back up. So here's the view from where I'm at. This is my vantage point. Oh my God, I'm exactly an hour and a half down into this canyon and I now get to turn around and hoof it back up. Okay, I'm uh, 15 minutes on my hike back up and actually took a stop here. Uh, I actually took a stop here at the petroglyphs. So just trying to Lost. give you an overview of that. I know I talked about it earlier, but uh, yep, they're just right up there. Okay, I'm at the mile and a half rest stop heading back up. So I actually been doing pretty good. Um, on my way down, I walked down half an hour down. And on the way back up, I'm at about, about 21 minutes back up. So feeling pretty good. Pretty awesome hike. Great views. So we'll continue on here for another little break. All right, I'm going uphill. Yeah, you know, I got videos of me going downhill. Obviously, that looked pretty easy. <laughs> And you can probably hear by the sound of my voice, I'm a little bit out of breath, but it's all good, feels good, so don't be fooled, going down, it took me an hour and a half, I took an hour and a half to go down, so we'll see if it takes me twice as long to get back up. All right, 45 minutes into my hike back up, this is the stopping point I had when I was going down. Yep, <laughs> I'm a little out of breath. But again, we're just well worth it. <laughs> it feels good. I know it sounds strange, but it really feels good in here to have that exertion. So we'll keep on trucking and get up to the top. Okay, it's almost been an hour, not quite. Coming up onto the first tunnel here. One hour and six minutes. Heading back up. Doing pretty good. I think the toughest thing is, obviously, as you guys know, anytime you're trying to, let's say, go to a gym and work out and you gotta have a mask on, it's tough. I mean, you can pull it down in spurts here, but then, you know, you come across people, you gotta put your mask on and be absolutely be considerate. So, anyway, one hour, six minutes, and I don't know, maybe another half an hour to the top. 
check in then. I made it back to the top and it was an hour and 38 minutes back to the top. And I walked down an hour and 30. Now I'm not Superman, but I really thought it was gonna take twice as long for me to get back up. Yep, I stopped, had some snacks, almost went through two bottles of water. And then uh, Laura, then she came down and she met me at the um, at one of the first, oh, like tunnels, tunnels. yeah, yeah in, the, in the rock and whatnot. But oh, yeah, I'm, my calf muscles are burning. <laughs> my thigh muscles are burning. Feels good though. But you did it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking that I probably was about a mile, a mile and three quarters down. I'm thinking. Uh -huh. And uh, again, guys, make sure to do it like in that late October, November, because most of that uh, climb, most of that's shaded. It's about uh, almost noon, and there's a little bit of sun coming back up, which felt good because it was a little chilly. That's it. I did it. Yeah. So we're wrapping up our days here in the Grand Canyon. And this is actually our, our third day. Uh -huh. Yep. And so it's been really pretty awesome. Uh, the first day we got here, um, we rolled in about what was it? Three o'clock? Two thirty, three o'clock, I think it in was. In the afternoon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And of course, Laura, she wanted to get out and go see the yeah, sunset. Let's go. <laughs> but the sun sets that way. And so unfortunately, the sun's not setting like, you know, with the Grand Canyon in the background, so to speak, you know. Yeah. Day number two, we, or yours truly, said, hey, <laughs> let's go rent some bikes. So that was he like... Did. It was a great idea. He came up with a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we went and we rented some bikes. And I can say that if you have an opportunity to do a reservation, I think we've talked about this before, but definitely uh, do a reservation um, and reserve it. It just depends, I guess, on the time of year, yeah. don't you think? And there's different skill levels of how far you want to go on what bike trail. So we chose the easy one, but there are more advanced trails and um, more intermediate trails. So th there's a variety of different things to choose from. So we, I guess we started at about, um, I think it's like 11 and we didn't have to return them back until 1.30. So we had, we had a pretty good ride. We, we rode, uh, what, to the west? No, no, to the east. To the east, we rode to the east on to the orange Yaki trail. To Yaki Point, yeah, to the Yaki Point. And, um, and we spent some time there, no accidents along the way. <laughs> <Whee -hoo>. <laughs> <laughs> but that was awesome. Mm -hmm. And we got back, turned the bikes back in, had some lunch, and then... We walked oh. along the rim trail. The rim trail. Right, and we did a long walk along the rim trail. We had Ginger with us and we just walked all, all along the trail and every curve was a little different <laughs> picture. It was great. Every every time we took a corner, we took a new picture, picture because we thought that that would be the better than the other picture, and it just kept getting better. <laughs> and it's amazing because every time you turn a corner, you're right. It's just like it a, a new photo video. opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that was that was pretty cool. So day number three, that's today. <laughs> Who had a wild hair that says, "Hey, let's go take a hike." Well, I decided to go and take a hike down, what's it called again? Bright Angel. Bright Angel Trail. You probably have heard in the video, I've said a number of things which were wrong, but it's <laughs> bright. I think one time I said Angel Bright instead of Bright Angel. But anyway, so we took the- And you the, said Angle one time. Ah, Angle, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so my goal was to get down to the half mile rest area, which typically takes, well, it does not, we don't know how long it was gonna take me, but it took me an hour. And I'm thinking, well, I'd like to hike down an hour and a half because if it takes twice as long to hike back up, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, oh, again, I, as we said just a little bit ago, every corner was something different. Some kind of different picture here, there. And then a lot of people were you uh, riding burrows and taking like a backpack down into the canyon. Mm -hmm. And I had to stop and let them go by. What do we do this afternoon? We drove out. <laughs> it's like there's so much to do, I forgot. Um, we drove out to um, Desert View, which was closed. It was closed. Yeah, because it's Navajo land or Indian land. They yeah, have they're, they're they can close area. their area. It's a tribal area. To, to visitors, and so did see the watchtower off in the distance. That was yeah. 
it was, it was okay. It was okay. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but anyway. Yeah. So we made it back and we're wrapping up uh, the last day here and tomorrow we hit the road. We hope you guys have enjoyed our adventure here in the Grand Canyon. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell. And also, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And well, we'll see you on our next travel. And follow our adventures and be sure to live your freedom. Oh my gosh, we forgot about one thing. You know how everywhere we go, we got these animals, right? And it's always these scary animals, right? Like bears. 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 And, and moose and elk, elk and deer and all deer these big animals but we even saw a sign that that had a cougar crossing yeah a cougar crossing cougar. here but we were getting this this instructional the safety talk the safety talk the safety talk when we were um getting our bikes uh-huh and the most vicious animal here in the park is, is the squirrels the squirrels Don't... can you believe it <laughs> if you stop and you put your backpack down or you stop to eat something, these freaking squirrels are so used to humans, they'll jump on you and they're rabid and they'll bite you. And they're just like, oh my gosh, you're kidding me. That's the yeah. scariest animal in the park yeah. is the squirrels according to this person giving us our instructions yeah. on she, safety she instructions. Said, she said that uh, they'll jump on your backpack, on your back as you're riding your bike. So you gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. But, well, we didn't But encounter. we watched out for those squirrels anyway. And, and scary, dangerous animals. <laughs> and of course, Ginger has been with us the whole time. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Let's okay. go to another adventure.